Hi guys, I came on to show a quick little tutorial video on how to create your own aged cellophane, cellophane tape. Um, I think I read about this somewhere and a lot of people use the Distress inks in a bottle to do this. Um, I have not brought myself to break down and buy those yet, but my daughter is an artist and she has tons of alcohol based markers so we pulled some of hers out and tried them on some cellophane tape and I think it turned out really well these are just you know practices so don't just ignore the dots here were our practice swatches from a couple of nights ago um, depending on what type of tape it is and how old it is and what type of paper the tape is on it may have different colors once it ages there's there's some tape that turns more bright yellow and others that just gets more of a dull beige or brown so you have kind of have to kind of experiment to see what you like best in your projects but i have a variety of pens here this is a blick illustrator marker and this is the color e6 hazelnut um, and you just use the um the chisel tip and just very gently and lightly go over the cellophane tape. Now the cellophane tape here, I place down on parchment paper and it can stay here until you need to lift it off for a project. That way it will come off cleanly and you'll still have a sticky side. So that was the um, Blick Hazelnut, a little bit of a glare. That's a very, very light one. Uh, this is, I think this is just an Amazon brand and this color is called terracotta. And this one is the one that's real yellow, which I have seen, you know, in photo albums and things. Sometimes the tape is really yellow. You can get creative and even create some shading um, with two or more colors. This one is Artist Loft, which I think is Michael's brand. This is pure sorry, pale copper. These are really hard to open. This one is a little more like, like it says of a copper. It's got some pinkish red in it, but that's cool. And this is another Amazon brand. This is burnt sienna. A little more of a reddish tone. This is a Copic marker, and this is uh, Coco. I really like this one. It's sort of a sable color. And then lastly is another Amazon, and this is Potato Brown. That's the fine tip. Here we go. That one's pretty red. So just experiment. Um, depending on what you have available to you. Once these dry, they will not rub off onto your hands or other surfaces, which is the beauty of this. So, um, yeah, have fun with this. This is something that I recently figured out thanks to Googling it and trying to find a cheaper alternative. Uh, and I really, really love adding these elements to my vintage journals, the retro journals that I'm making. So have fun and thanks for watching.